Howdy folks, Steampunk Desperado here. This week I have another short video which is going to talk about one of my works in progress. And the work in progress is the next installation of our series about our Steampunk heroine, Professor Ion D. We have two of these books out already and they are on Amazon in both ebook and paper format, so please check them out. I'll put the links in the description below. So please check them out if you haven't done so. If you have, let us know what you think about them. We would love to hear from you. So about Miss Ion D. Now these books are collaborations between me and Mrs. Desperado because she invented the character. It was it was very cool happenstance. In 2015, I released a steampunk book called Fidelia's Automata about a genius Cupid inventor. And she decided she wanted to promote that on Facebook with various articles writing as this fictional character who would have lived back at the time when Fidelio, the, the hero, lived in the early 1900s. And she named her Miss Ion D, coining the name from the middle names for two parents. And yes, her father's middle name was just the initial D. That does happen sometimes. And so it was fun because what she did was look up recipes on the internet from the various places that were featured in the book, like Cuba, for example, and make this meal, and then we would photograph it, and then she would post a recipe and a fictional travelogue saying, I'm Professor IMD, and I visited Havana, and I had this wonderful Cuban pork sandwich there, and here's the recipe. And we enjoyed making those, we got to eat the food, but at the same time, we didn't sell too many books from that, unfortunately. Don't know why. So currently, our work in progress is the third one in the installment. The first had uh, Miss Ion D visiting Guatemala with her parents and discovering an amazing relic in a Mayan pyramid. The second, she's a professor. She has graduated from college, and she goes to London to attend a culinary exhibition. Yes, in England. <laughs> That's part of the joke, because the king decides, I want to rehabilitate the image of English cooking. This third one involves the island of Crete. It is called Professor IOD and the Steam-Powered Minotaur. We always like to feature some kind of steam-powered creature in our books, because that's a steampunk thing, obviously. And in this case, it's the legendary creature from Crete. And this time, Professor IOD has a sidekick. Her name is Lily. She was a street urchin that she encountered in London in the previous book, and she's kind of adopted her. And she's a very smart and precocious girl that kind of is headstrong and has her own way of doing things. So it's, it's a lot of fun for this young 20-something IOD to have to deal with this headstrong teenager who travels with her. As for the name IOD, it was kind of interesting because... I thought it's kind of strange to have a surname that's just D, just a letter. My first thought was to have it be a reference to the River D, which actually is on the border between England and Wales, spelled D-E. But then later I discovered there's an important personage in English history who was named D-E-E. -E. Didn't know about that. So maybe we'll find that Ion ha finds out a few things about her family history that she didn't know, something people tried to hide. And again, look forward to seeing the third one, because hopefully it'll be out by the end of the year once we get the Diana's Fury revision finished. So thank you for watching this and for following our work. Please like and subscribe, because it helps us get out the good steampunk word. For now, this is Steampunk Desperado saying adios amigos from the Steampunk Desperado channel, where the past meets the future, and the present is extraordinary. Mm -hmm.